good afternoon students uh, today i am continuing the lesson gravitation in the lesson gravitation today i am explaining about the motion of objects under the influence of gravitational force in my previous class i have explained about the free about the concept of free fall in the concept of free fall uh, of an object there comes the influence of gravitational force but here in my today's uh, today class i am explaining about the motion of objects under the influence of gravitational force of the earth students we have already studied in the lesson motion that the equations of equations of motion of an object which is in which is uniformly accelerating uniformly accelerating that means velocity is changing by equal amounts in equal intervals of time and those equations are of mainly three types the first one is first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus a b second s is equal to u b plus 1 by 2 a b square third v square is equal to u square plus 2 a b these are the three equations of motion of an object which is uniformly accelerating here u is initial velocity v is final velocity a is acceleration t time and s is the distance travelled and the same three equations of motion of an uniformly accelerated object are to be taken for the motion of objects under the influence of gravitational force of the earth but the only change here what we are making is in place of a in in place of a in place of a in place of a here we are substitute we are we are substituting in place of a we <coughs> substitute g we already know what is meant by g g is the acceleration due to gravity then the same three equations of motion this becomes this becomes the same three equations of motion becomes the first one b is equal to u plus g t and second s is equal to u t plus 1 by 2 g t square and the third is v square is equal to u square plus 2 ts and here one more one more thing is here again when an object is moving in the upward direction when when object when object moving in
with this I will stop the explanation and next on these three equations of motion the numericals will come and now let us solve the numericals. Thank you.